Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney from Carney Media Group and the Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Divine Waves EXS24 instrument collection that I've developed for Logic Pro 10. Because Divine Waves is not a standalone plugin or a standalone software instrument, it does require a bit of manual installation, but it's pretty easy to do and I'll show you how in this video. After you purchase Divine Waves, you should get a download link within 10 minutes of purchasing. However, most of the time this happens instantly. If you have any issues getting your download link, just shoot me an email at musictechhelpguy at gmail.com and I'll help you out. After downloading, you'll see this zip file called cmgdivinewavesinstall.zip. Most likely this will be in your downloads folder or whichever directory you've chosen to download to. Double click on this to uncompress the zip file. Now keep in mind that the zip file is pretty big, it's just over 20 gigabytes, so be patient, it may take a while to download and unzip. Also keep in mind that after you unzip this, you'll have a folder with 25 gigabytes worth of sample libraries. So you want to make sure that you have around 46 gigs of free space on your hard drive when installing this. If not, you can move the zip file over to an external drive and uncompress it there. Once you've uncompressed this file, you can delete this initial zip file to free up some space on your hard drive. Inside the install folder, you'll see two additional folders. The Divine Waves folder contains all of the channel strip settings for the instruments, and the folder labeled Divine Waves EXS24 Collection contains the entire sample library. We need to move these to two different folders on our hard drive for it to show up in Logic. And also make sure that Logic is not open while you're installing this. First, click on the desktop to bring the Finder menu into view, and then select Go, and then click Computer. I'm going to click on this button here to work in Columns view. Next, go to Macintosh HD, Users, and then your username, Music, Audio Music Apps, and then Sampler Instruments. Drag and drop the Divine Waves EXS24 collection folder inside of this Sampler Instruments folder. Next, in the Audio Music Apps folder, go to Channel Strip Settings, Instrument. Here, drag and drop the Divine Waves folder. Next, you can open up Logic normally and create a new software instrument track. Click here or press Y to open up the instrument library, select User Channel Strip Settings, and you'll see the Divine Waves folder. And inside this folder, you'll see all 53 software instruments in this collection. Let's click on a few of these and make sure that they're working properly. You can also click the setting tab at the top of an instrument channel strip and select the Divine Waves patches from here as well. If you get any error messages when trying to load these, try opening up the EXS24 directly from the channel strip, then go up to the main menu here and select Refresh Menu. This will usually take care of any directory issues. However, this usually only happens when you try to install the library while Logic is open. If you closed Logic like I told you before, you shouldn't have this issue. If you have any other issues with installation, feel free to shoot me an email at musictechhelpguy at gmail.com and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.